Hi everyone, welcome back to Fishing Barrent Sea. Here we are in the eclipse in our beautiful trawler. Look at this, our lunar bow trawler. Looking magnificent in the sunshine. With our few friendly seagulls buzzing around the rear. As they say. Right, um, we've been doing a bit of fishing. Let me just bring up the HUD and show you uh, what's what. If I just hop out of here. Um, oh, actually no, let's get the ship moving. And then we'll um, set the, the haul going. So let's um, give ourselves some speed. Let's get up to about four and a half knots. Come on, baby. Start churning. There we go. Lovely. And as you can see from the indicator here, we've got quite a lot of fish in the uh, in the hold. So I think one more really good haul might see us pretty much full, uh, and then we'll have to head back and uh, get some. Um, uh, get some money for our sails. I don't think there's much more in the way of upgrades we can do to this ship. I think maybe engine upgrades and maybe um, bits and bobs here and there. But I think we're pretty much done. I think she's pretty much as good as she's going to get. So we can either go back to do some more fishing on the Hermes or uh, maybe... Um... Oh, I was hoping I could grab those binoculars then. But no. Although I do believe if I... Um... If I let go and go B, no, that one, no I'm sure there are binoculars somewhere I just can't remember what the key is right, if we um, jauntily jog around the uh, the bridge here come over to our fishing station um, let's see what the boys and girls are doing, oh they're all on the um, haul trawl, we put them on set trawl uh, Olive, just check on the um, repairs, make sure everything is looking fantastic uh, wait for them to wander out into their into position. You don't have to, but I'm just doing it for uh, role playing kind of procedures. Uh, let's have a look. Are they there? Oh, there they are. There they go down there. Okay. Yes. Okay, we can see them there. I wonder what happened to them for a second, but there they are. Well, in in your own time, you know, you're on the company dollar here. Come on, come on. Honestly. Different when you're the boss, and it's you you paying the bills, you know. Yeah, let me know when you're ready. Goodness me. I think they're good. Go. Right, doors in they go. I've got a mass of fish over there already. Try and keep the doors nice and even when we're releasing the uh, the cabling. Uh, all looking good. We hop off that for a second. We'll come over here and we'll set up the spidergram thing. Uh, pop in there. So we're doing four knots, which is what we wanted. They're looking fairly even for the moment. Here we go. So we could probably. Want to get the speed just a little bit more? Maybe 4.3, something like that. Let's give it a little nudge on the old. We want to get it to the end edge of that um, where the thumb is there. It's almost there. Yeah, 4.5. That's probably about right, isn't it? Right, and when, as the nets start to fan out, we should be able to uh, get that nicely done if they stay even. And they are staying even for the most part, which is good. You see we're coming over these fish now. That doesn't appear to be updating. Oh, yes, it is. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get deep enough to get that, but no fish being collected so far. Um, so, how far down is that? I can't read it. Uh, 379 ish. I can't see it. When it's on the, the light patches, I can't. Oh, it's there. 407. Okay, so we need to, we need to go down quite a bit. Uh, so we probably won't be able to catch much of this one, judging by the speed the nets are dropping down. So at the end of uh, the last video, you seem to remember I picked up a mission in one of the pubs to transport some fish down to uh, 
Hammerfest. I did that. We're now sitting at 15,884,797 kroner. Uh, so things are looking good. Things are looking good. Um, I just want to have a look at the wiki. And look at the fish. Look at the mackerel. When's the season for mackerel? Um... You probably up uh, May to October, best caught from May to October. Oh, we've only just come into May. Oh, okay, we're just about to start mackerel season. Oh, that's that's great news. Oh, look, there's a big um, mass of fish down there. We've gone slightly askew with the. Uh, let's hold that one for a second. Let's try and keep them even. And that'll give us our best sort of spider gram catch with the, uh, the the opening of the of the uh, the trawl net. That's the idea, anyway. Unfortunately, we're going to be too high to catch any of those. Right, let's uh, wait a few seconds, and there we go. We'll get this one going again. Oh, look at that big red mass there. Starting to catch fish now. We're going through at a rate of three. You can just see it's we're just catching the top edge of that. There we go, starting to fill up now. Now if we have a look at the uh, spider gram, we should be Okay, this this one here is uh, which is the symmetry is not quite there. Oh, do you mean to click on it? Not catching anything at the moment. Where's the spider ground gone? There, nope. There it is. Maybe I can switch one of these to the radar. Oh my goodness, there we go. Let's bank the ship a little bit over here. Nice. Where's the phone here? There should be a phone somewhere. There, that's the hull indicator. There, the, there, the horn. Where on earth is the? Maybe I don't have it on this section. Ah, there it is. We can set these to relax because uh, they're not required when we're actually uh, releasing out. So that's all good. Right, okay, so we got a little bit from that. Not a lot, to be honest with you. Um, we're a bit, unfortunately, that came a little bit too soon. But we got some here, look. We got, um, yeah, we got a third of the, or over a third of the, the, uh, the net full, which is quite good. Right, I think if we hold the, uh, the nets here, and we allow this, the uh, that one to settle down as well. Hopefully, we should be able to um, get something from these two pods here. Can you imagine it? The net's like and that's what 193, so it's down to about there. So it's kind of like that. So it should be quite a good catchment area. I'm hoping anyway. We're not catching anything at the moment. It's gonna bring it to starboard a bit. See if we can catch the top edge of that uh, shoal. Don't want to bend the wires too much. Look from the uh, front of the boat. Do, do, do. Yeah, we're looking. Oh, torpedo! No, it's not. It's uh, whales. We're okay. I thought that was a torpedo strike on the bow. I thought we were in trouble there. But no, we're fine. I've been playing too much Silent Hunter recently. Uh, in fact, I've been playing a lot of naval war games recently. I don't know why. I'm, I'm just into. I don't know a lot about the naval side of uh, the war, but I'm. I'm starting to become interested in it. Uh, so I've been playing, obviously, Silent Hunter 5, everyone knows I play that. 
Well, we started playing um, Atlantic Fleet and uh, War World of Warships. So I may bring some videos on that if people want to watch it. It may not be what people want to watch actually, but because I think they're more fun playing than watching. Uh, but no, it's, it's it's good fun. It's good fun. All right, we're coming up to four knots now. And just just extending this one here it gives us a, quite a nice. Maybe we can go back up to four and a half knots. Yeah, it's got obviously you can spread them to the edge of these this larger um is it hexagon? One, two, three, four, five. Hexagon is five, isn't it? Um but we're just gonna go with the inner one, which is fine for now. That's all we can sort of cope with. Um it's six hundred and seventy five meters to the bottom. So we're doing pretty well. There you go the whales. Let's have a quick look. I thought there was three in this little pod. Oh, there's one there. There's one there. Ah, maybe only two. I thought there was three. But yeah, they've, look at the reflections and stuff that they've done on the water. It's looking brilliant, isn't it? They really have um, improved this game from the original. We are starting to skim some fish off the top of this barren out. Oh, we were. It's all gone quiet. And I found rather than um, trying to hunt these fish by going, you know, jinking the boat left and right, it's often best just to keep going at a steady speed, at a steady angle, um, coming out of sync slightly. So I'm going to release more wire on this side. Yeah, to keep on going, you see these little light ones here. Very much, very often, if you continue going forward, that's just, you know, obviously the reflection um, from a distance. So as you get closer to them, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's often best to go in a straight line. We've got over half the net full already, so it's not too bad at all. So if we just continue on our current course, the current tactics, and just enjoy the journey. Oh, that's a little bit better than the old sink. Right, let's go and have a look. Spider ground should be looking a little bit healthier now. It's a beautifully clean floors, aren't they? Oh no, it's not actually. The symmetry's gone. Uh, it's probably. Ah, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll leave it for now. We'll let that settle down. We did do that turn, which is probably unsettled it all. And we'll come outside because we haven't been outside for ages. What would be really awesome is if we could launch this and just go for a, a blat around the, uh, the the open ocean. I don't think this is a, um, a captainly run. I think we need something a little bit more stoic, a little bit more stiff upper lip than this little jaunty jog, which we can do. Is that can we not get around here? I thought we could. Oh, we can. I had a clipping box issue first time around, but yeah. Ah, there's my binoculars. It's right mouse button. There we go. There's the whale sailing off into the distance. And I think there's the other one over there. Lovely. Right. I don't think we can get any further than this. Can we get down? No. No. I thought there was somebody in my captain's seat then. I thought that's, that would be freaky, wouldn't it? If you turned around and there was somebody in your captain's seat, you thought, oh, I'm the only one on the bridge. Nice. Um, oh, this was back into the. Um, oh God, hang on. There we go. Didn't mean to do that. Have a quick look here. Um, we're out of sync again. That's fine. So we've got. Hang on. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it's the top of the net is out of whack. Not the doors. Okay. So is this one? Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Compared to the doors, it is a bit, I suppose. But okay, it's not ideal, but we're we're doing okay. Um, yeah, we got. We're not really closing on these. These ones here, they've been there for a while now. So I think they are distant echoes of the edge of a shoal in the distance. So we're going to continue forward, and hopefully we'll um, 
see them come into uh, full bloom, shall we say. So we're going to press on for a little bit and I'll bring you back when we get a bit closer. Hi everyone, welcome back. As you can see, those small little echoes are now starting to grow and we are now catching fish. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's probably been about six or seven minutes in real time. Um, just I was sort of coming around here at three and a half, four knots. But we are obviously set up nicely for that little distant echo, which is getting larger and larger. And as I say that, the fish stop coming. Great. Anyway, but we've uh, we've nicked into the uh, the top two boxes now. So if we continue on this path, uh, we've got it fairly. The doors are fairly uh, even. We go and check on our little spidergram. Oh, more whales! More whales. Look at that. Um, spidergram is. <laughs> oh, that doesn't work. That's a shame. <laughs> I thought that was going to be brilliant. Uh, the top of the net uh, is still slightly out. Um, but that's okay. There they are. They seem to like swimming with the boat. There's a big. Um, is that our bow going through the waves, or is that I don't know. I don't know. Look at the beautiful sunset here. Look at that. That's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Right, hop in the chair again. We're catching fish again. Lovely. So we're gaining on this uh, shoal again. Look at that nine fish. Our fish meter is going crazy. We're down into a nice steady five. Almost filling the net up. Good. I think this will see us. I think I think this will see us through. There you go. Second from the last box. Almost full. And we stop catching again. You know, it's not a solid block of fish. That would just be weird. Um, there are gaps in there. But... Uh, Give a bit more time on this course, and we should easily. Well, I say easily. We should fill the uh, the nets up. What's our current speed? Three point two. Okay, I just want to make sure because sometimes the one on here doesn't always appear that accurate. So I'm just gonna um, give it a little bit more notch of throttle. Three point two, three point one, three point two, three point one. Another another notch. Find it's a lot more accurate doing it from here. So with 3.5, let's get up to uh, just under four would be nice. There we go. And yeah, we're not catching any fish again. So that's 615 meters. Wait, where, where, where did our... Ah, oh, that was just a small block of fish by the looks of it, because they've disappeared. That's disappointing. That is disappointing. Um, but we're pretty much... Oh, do you know what we've got? We're um, almost full. Let's haul this in, and we'll go, we'll go back to base and uh, sell our catch, I think. Uh, that one, and uh, that one. Start hauling this in now. Obviously, as the nets have been hauled in, there's still an opportunity to catch the odd fish coming up, which is fine. Um, we've got plenty of scope just in case we do. And we should be almost to a full load with this, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping. And then we can go back and probably sell for about ooh, 6 mil, do you reckon? Hopefully, we'll get around 6 mil for this. Okay, as the sun sets. We're hauling away, and as you can see, we're actually catching fish just as we uh, bring the net up. So um, giving that little bit of uh, leeway does help. There's a tiny little shoal. Um, we're getting six minutes, six minutes, six fish past the uh, the counter bob, which is doing well, and uh, just down to two at the moment. But yeah, filling up the net nicely. So uh, this would be pretty much a full net as it comes out, which would be uh, grand. 
it will be a full net by looks of it. That is awesome. That worked out really well. Good. So, um, the, the guys and gals all lined up. I think I put them onto haul. I did, yeah. Okay, good. Coming up now. 40 metres of rope. Rope. <laughs> As if. Cabling, sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. And the sun is set. Wow, that's quick. That was quick. It's all dark on the on the open sea. Speaking of which, we could probably get some lights on, couldn't we? Switch off. Oh wait, these are all on apparently. Oh, that that light is as good. Oh, actually, yes, there it is. You can see they're on. See, they've done a lot of work, especially on the searchlights, because they were like a foghorn beacon weren't they they were crazy when they first came out but yeah they're a lot more subtle a lot better you can see the guys down here standing around ready to use that crane to haul this up Still bringing three fish a minute by looks of it, or three, three. I don't know what the, the measurement is, but it's three on the fish scale, which is uh, cool. <laughs> don't know what else to say to that? Okay, we are good to go. Let's pull this haul in. The cranes swing out. That all goes off. And boom, there it is. Blup, the big old trawl net full of little fishies, old sofas, shopping trolleys, you name it, whatever's in this open, open, open sea. I'm sure we've collected in there. Nice. So we got 9,870 Pollock, 409,000 kilograms. And mackerel, 22,857 for 37,000 kilograms. Nice. Where does that leave us on our... Uh, yeah, almost done. Almost done. That will probably do us... That will do, pig. That will do. Right. Um, let's give these guys into rest. They've got a really easy workload these days. I'm not sure they're really earning their money, if I'm honest. Everything's looking good. Right. We're going to head back to uh, the ports. Okay, here we come. We're just coming into the port at the Tufjord. Tufjord is the northern port. Um, it's got fish selling, it's got ship repairs, all that kind of jazz. So, perfect for us now. It's snowing a bit, but uh, that's nothing to worry about. Probably do not need the, uh, the searchlight on. Uh, that's not the searchlight, that's work lights. Searchlight can go off. Running lights and interior lights can stay on, that's fine. Yeah, lovely. Look at that, that's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. And there is the fish we've got on board. Wow, some of it only a few hours old, some of it two and a half days old. So we've done a lot of fishing in two and a half days. But um, we'll try and bring this in nice and steady to the quayside. Try not to wreck this poor little fishing boat here. Yeah, the one thing this really needs to do have is uh, some sideways propulsion, like the Hermes. Because that makes getting out of these tight spots really easy. I can just dock now. But I always like to um, make it look a little bit more realistic. Coming in at two and a half knots. Try not to crush this poor little ship next to us. Oh, oh, we nudged it, we nudged it, sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. Sorry about that, sorry. She's fine, she's got she's got some defenders on the side, some old used car tyres, she's absolutely fine. We're probably going to rub it a bit. 
Oh no, we're not quite touching. We're not quite touching. I'm sure we did touch somewhere along the line. And we'll just um, whack it full open. Uh, and she's stuck on something. She's not going anywhere. Okay, close the engines off. And uh, we'll dock. Yeah, we'll pretend that didn't happen. Good, we'll sell. So what have we got in total then? Um, 46,000 Pollock and 89,000 Mackerel. Sell that. Bish, bash, bosh. Absolutely lovely. Minus the crew's easy money, which was a million krona these days. Oof. Old George is earning big buckaroonies. Look at that. 300,000 almost. And Care is not too far behind him. But anyway, we brought in 9,846,023 krona, which is pretty sweet. That's one of our best best um, hauls, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's 61,000, blimey. Those were the days. We're only netting... Oh, those are back on the smaller boats, aren't they? Wow, okay. Good stuff. Right, we're in dock. We've got a couple of missions, maybe. Um, Bob, the fisherman. It's always Bob. Wants to deliver 1,300 kilograms of assorted fish to Hammersfest in five days. 136,000. I'm not going to bother Bob. Do not take that as a personal rejection. Insurances and travel towing. I never bother with because I've never had an issue so far. The crew can always repair the ship. So that's all good and grand. Um... In the dock, buy some fuel. Repair costs for seventy. Zero percent needs repairing, but it's going to cost me almost seventy-five grand. No, I don't think so, Sunshine. Don't know what kind of scam you've got going on there, and it doesn't have any upgrades, unfortunately, at this port. Good. Right, we are the Lord of the Fish at Tefjord, uh, which is all grand. Uh, where's my mouse? Oh, it's gone on the other screen. There we go. Um, and they are the current fishing prices. So mackerel. 12 kroners, but then the Pollocks were the big ones we were getting all oh, some. Oh wow, yeah, Pollock is the way to go, isn't it? Cod, I suppose. Pollock's pretty damn good. Right, there we go, some more mackerel do hunting. Hunting? Fishing, fishing, yeah. Some more mackerel fishing completed. Everything's looking good. We've got 25 uh, million in the bank, which reminds me, does this have banking facilities? Repay. Total debt is 20. We can repay our debt. I'll tell you what. I'm going to do another. I'm going to do one more um, fishing haul for about another 8 to 9 million, hopefully. Uh, and then we'll pay this off in, in full. And um, we'll still have some money for repairs and fuel. If I repay that off now, I only have a couple of mil. And I will be short with fuel and payments and that kind of thing. So I don't want to make it too difficult for us. So I'm going to leave it like that. Cool, 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 cool. Good, right. So, as we are docked up into Fjord, we'll leave it there, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying fishing Barents Sea. Um, not sure how much more of this we've got. We'll probably have to find something else to uh, take our time with. If you've got any suggestions or other games to check out, then by all means, let me know, and we may check them out. But um, please put them in the comment section below. Right, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you like what you see, Perhaps consider hitting that subscribe button and tickling the bell next to it so you get all the latest videos notified into your feed. Great. Right. Leave it there. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.